CSA A23.2-1C, Sampling of Plastic Concrete. This test method specifies the procedures, locations, and sample size required to obtain a representative sample of fresh concrete from a truck agitator or mixer. This training video addresses sampling done in order to perform tests on fresh concrete or to cast the fresh concrete into molds used for different tests on hardened concrete. The results of these tests are used to determine the quality of concrete and to assess its traceability to the structure it represents. Following these procedures is not only a requirement of CSA A23.1, but it also assists in obtaining samples that are truly representative of the concrete. When sampling from a truck agitator or truck mixer, the sample shall be taken between the 10% and 90% points of the discharge. Note that this does not apply when it is required that concrete be tested for slump immediately prior to the addition of superplasticizer. The location where the concrete is to be sampled may be defined within the project specifications. However, where the test data derived from the sample is intended to give information on the properties of the concrete as delivered and used for the purposes of accepting the concrete, the concrete should be sampled at the point of discharge from the delivery equipment. It is required to obtain a grab sample by passing a receptacle completely through the discharge stream or completely diverting the discharge stream into a sample container such as a wheelbarrow, taking care not to obstruct or retard the discharge and avoid segregation. Note, more than one container may be used to obtain a single grab sample. When multiple containers are used to obtain a grab sample, the sample shall be remixed into a single composite sample. When sampling for evaluation of the concrete quality, obtain a grab sample at one point of discharge in as short a period of time as possible. When sampling for uniformity, obtain three grab samples from widely separated portions of the batch, keeping the samples separate as to represent the different portions of the batch. Do not allow the mixer to turn in the mixing direction between samples and do not add any water once the sampling has begun. The minimum size sample required is 20 liters when using the 100 by 200 millimeter cylinders, 30 liters when using the 150 by 300 millimeter cylinders, and 55 liters when three flexural beams are to be made. Smaller samples may be used when only routine air content and slump tests are being conducted. Transport the sample to the place where the tests are to be performed or where the test specimens are to be molded and remixed. Protect the sample from sun, wind, and other sources of rapid evaporation and contamination. The sample shall be obtained, transported, and remixed within 10 minutes. Testing for temperature shall be completed within 5 minutes after obtaining the sample. Tests for slump and air content shall be completed within 10 minutes after obtaining the sample. Molding of strength test specimens shall be completed within 20 minutes of obtaining the sample. The concrete represented by the sample shall be identified and noted in the test reports, including information obtained on the delivery ticket, specifically the following as applicable. The concrete mix identification, the source of the sample, the date and time of sampling, the identification of the project site, the location of the sampling operation if other than the point of discharge, the location of the concrete within the structure, the name of the technician who performed the sampling, identification of the laboratory performing the sampling, name and signature of the person responsible for reviewing of the test report, and identification of any deviations from the prescribed test procedure. This concludes the sampling procedure.